tonight. It's Madden NFL football. Super Bowl 60. The Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Chicago Bears. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. Brandon going along with Charles Davis and what a season it's been for our AFC champions. I mean, this was a fight just to get to the Super Bowl. You got to figure that they are very battle tested and ready. I'd agree with you 100% about that. You don't get there without having those types of attributes and that's what you look for in a Super Bowl team. Character, confidence. These guys don't lack for either one of those. Now they're here. Now they're ready to win. Meanwhile, our NFC champions, they have gone through a lot to get where they are. Everybody knows their story this season. What's the key for them as they start this Super Bowl? Let's go full cliche on this one because it works. Remember what got you here. Been a winning. takes to be a Super Bowl winning team and we've been proven right by what we've seen throughout the season. champions have come and gone who will claim number 60 as we're off in the 2026 Super Bowl this fielded right at the goal line and able to get this out to the 25 so here are the Bears now for their opening drive and they will be led out by their six foot six quarterback and he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC championship round two weeks ago this has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback, and he's been very vocal in the days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time, and he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Looking to throw. Winslow. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Carl Lawson. Credit him with a sack and it goes as a loss of six. But just two plays in and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. And well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. And that will be incomplete as well. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Working with second and five now. From the gun, Winslow. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Behind the chain, second and 13. From the shotgun, Lawrence, and his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Lawrence. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at the 18. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10.
Now they try the right side here. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw, Winslow. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Look at the throw. Winslow. And that is incomplete. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Operating from the gun, Winslow. Throw over the middle, pulled in here by Farrell. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Now after the punt on that play, we've got a man down to the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Here's Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Now Lawrence on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Looking to throw Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. And bringing it in right side here. Back him. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They run. Robinson. And able to use.
uses his blockers to get this up over the 40. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. Continuing to steadily move the ball down the field. Not big play after big play, but these moderate gains getting him first downs. And you know what they add up to, right? If you continue that pace and you continue to move it downfield, they add up into six points. That's exactly what you're looking for. Lawrence will throw. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. First and ten, it's Lawrence. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Lawrence. It's caught. Beckham. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. It's a throw again is Lawrence. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Now on second and 16, Lawrence. That's complete to Troutman right side. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And his kick here is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit, maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. There's still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. 
From the gun, Winslow. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Throwing on first down. Winslow completes a mooning on the slant. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. There's Mooney with another catch. And the Bears are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Back in the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll look to throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Jacksonville's pass defense holds serve. Fourth down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And his kick is good. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandness Stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And through one half at least, this Super Bowl has been everything it was cracked up to be. All tied. What's your key for them, Charles, in the second half? Simplicity, partner, because in the Super Bowl, with the extra time at halftime, I think some staffs get caught up in trying to design too many things. It's all tied up. They have to remember what they did to get here, put that back into play here in the second half, and I think that... Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. What a moment for him. A pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big-time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall him on. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Yeah. 
Throwing after the interception. Lawrence. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Again, it's Robinson. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route. Had plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Lawrence. Quick slant caught by Kirk. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And it'll be second and very short. That was a nicely run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now Lawrence to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but... according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down an important play right here third and ten and I would expect pressure here on third down Lawrence and he'll go down the Bears get there for the sack Duran Payne able to get him down for a loss of 11 and it brings up fourth down well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away.
taken at about the 16. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Winslow. He finds his man complete. It's Mullins. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground. But despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On first down, Winslow. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and ten, Winslow. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Right back to him on first down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw. Winslow. Over the middle. That's caught by Rice. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That catch good for only a couple. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Winslow. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. The Bears on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 14. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. Looking to throw. Winslow, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. I guess it's good we can't really read 
read the mind of the defensive coordinator now. Huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing to start the drive. Winslow. And hold in by the tight end Miller. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Throwing on first down. Winslow. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Looking to throw on second down. Winslow. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Not much there, only a yard. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll go option to the short side, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? They'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Back to throw. Winslow got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Bears are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That time, a six-play drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Trevor Lawrence in the Jacksonville offense ready to go back to work. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you're two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. So that one a disaster, a big loss there with second down coming up. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. It's caught by OBJ. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Out 
the gun. It's Lawrence. Quickly into the hands of Beckham. And all the way down to the 39. A big play there on the catch and run. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Shelton. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll make it a second down. Lawrence going to throw again. That's going to be caught by Kirk. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw again. It's complete to Robinson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. And he's got it. Touchdown, Jaguars. Russell Gage, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So a seven-point game. They'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven. take a knee here so first and second down went the wrong direction they'll try to do better here on third and 13 time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout so on fourth down out trots the kicker in a big spot here this to make it a two score game and the Chicago Bears have etched their name in NFL history. They are your Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.
and they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.